From time to time, you may want to utilize also links to websites or YouTube videos. And the reason for that, it might be copyright or it could be that um, the articles cannot be posted directly or uploaded directly into e-learning. So in this process, I'm going to link a website or an article or a YouTube video to the course page. To get started, we need to be in the course page. We need to have editing turned on where we have these icons. And then we need to click on the, for example, on this specific week, we want to click on add an activity. Then we want to scroll all the way to the bottom and choose URL. So we want to link to a website out there. Then we click on add. And let's say I want to link to an article on CNN here on how to follow Olympics online. And uh, at this point, one of the ways to do this is um, you go to the article. Let's say this is the uh, article. You highlight the URL on the very top, copy it, and then switch back to e-learning. Under the external URL option, you just right click and choose paste or press control V. Leave everything the way it is and then choose save and return to course. At this time, the link has been posted. I'm going to indent it a little bit to the right and the students will be able to simply click on the URL and it will take them to that site. So you can use this for research articles the same way for library resources. So if we go, for example, to library, click on the online databases or the databases option, choose one of the databases here, search for an article, and then make sure you choose the full text. So if we click on the full text, either PDF or full text web, the web version probably is best because it will open in any type of device. You copy the URL, then return back to e-learning then we choose add an activity url add under the external url control v to paste v like victor or right click and choose paste choose save and return to the course and then the student will have access to that resource even though it is in one of the library databases if they are off campus, they'll be asked for authentication for the library system. So we are linking to a specific resource uh, to access a specific resource in a protected database. The next option I'll show you here is how to add a YouTube video. There are a couple ways of adding YouTube videos. So for example, if we go to YouTube first, and then under let's say pick any of the videos that you want to display to your students then copy the url on the top control c then go to the course page add an activity choose url add external url paste the link and then you choose save and return to the course you can also use this option here for YouTube videos under external link. You could click on choose a link and then click on YouTube videos and you can search for YouTube videos from here. So pick any of the videos that you're interested in, click on the link, choose and there it is YouTube video. So if I click on it, of course, this will be the YouTube video, the second one that I chose. The student will have the option to play it and then rewind it and go back and forth as many times as they need to. So that is how you add uh, various different links from YouTube, from articles online to uh, journal articles using the library databases.